Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you to put Google Analytics on your site using the Google Analytics module. So using Google Analytics is a really great way to track who's coming to your website, and really Google just updates this tool all the time, and I feel like it just keeps getting better and better uh, with more and more features. So we're going to use the Google Analytics module. Of course, you could just use the embed code that Google gives you and just put it in your you know, your template files or something. But I like using the modules, especially uh, because it's sort of like the Drupal way to do things is to use the modules. So I'm going to grab the latest version and I'm going to throw it in my modules folder, which if you remember is in your sites all folder. Oops. And then modules. So let's grab this. I'll throw it in here. And let's enable this module. Okay, here it is. And then we're just going to save this. And then we'll have access to the configuration options where we can put our information in. So I'm actually going to just going to scroll back down here to where we were before, uh, because this is where you'll find the little configure gear. We'll click on this and it's going to ask for your web property ID. Um, it's going to ask if you're a uh, single domain, what you're tracking, if you have multiple subdomains or multiple top level domains built into your site, you know, you can do that. However, we're just going to be tracking this single domain and I'm just going to grab my web property ID uh, and you can grab yours and just paste it in there. In case you need help finding this uh, web property ID, just log into your Google Analytics account and set up a new domain. It should uh, give you this. It looks like it starts with the UA. It should be pretty easy to find. So um, if we click under pages, it's going to say, uh, you know, are there any pages you want to not track? Of course, it's not going to track our admin or any sort of page inside of our admin, our batch, node add, uh, or our user pages. So this is fine with me. If there's other pages you want to add, you can just add it on a new line. And if you want any sort of like sub pages of that, you can do slash and then the asterisk and that will count for all pages within. So this is all pages underneath admin. This is all pages admin. Um, if you don't want to track everybody, if you want to track only anonymous users authenticated, that's definitely possible. So you can see this module is really configurable. Um, it doesn't require a lot of just code know-how. I mean, you can probably do everything with this um, if you wanted to with the Google Analytics code, but this puts it all in one nice spot and it's nice and easy to configure. So here you can actually give users the option if they want to customize tracking on their account. I don't have users, so I'm going to click no customization allowed. Um, links and downloads. Yes, we want to track downloads. We want to click uh, mail to links, or we want to track clicks to mail to links, outbound links. We want to track all this stuff. Um, search in AdSense. Do we want to track AdSense ads? We don't have AdSense on this uh, site. However, I do have other sites with AdSense ads. And then, of course, you would want to track that because that's very valuable information. And internal search. Again, I don't have internal search. However, you can, uh, you can track internal search queries with that. You could enable some privacy options here. This is... Uh, makes users IPs uh, anonymous. Um, this universal web tracking opt-out is the default. If enabled, your server receives the do not track header from the client, client browser. Google Analytics module will not embed tracking code into the site. So basically it's saying if you know it says do not track uh, from the browser, then don't track it. Of course, we're going to leave that checked. Custom variables, we don't need them. Uh, advanced settings, um, not a whole lot here. Locally cache the tracking code file. What this is going to do is cache the uh, the tracking code file and locally. It says do not check this until after Google Analytics is confirmed to be working. So of course we're going to leave this unchecked for now. And the JavaScript scope. Um, this is going to say Google recommends adding the external JavaScript files to the header. Um, although it gives you the option to add them to your footer if you would like. However, since Google recommends it, I'm going to leave it in the header. No big deal. Okay, we're going to click save. And now let's check out the source of our site. And as you can see, it has put this Google Analytics code in the site for us. 
um, and it's all nice and easy. So now what you can do is go to your Google Analytics account and verify that it's all connected and everything should be all set. So now you have Google Analytics working on your new Drupal site and you should be good to go. If you have any questions or it's not working for some reason, you know, please leave a comment, let us know. Hit us up at Twitter, level up tuts, and let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott and thanks for watching. Bye.